Hey guys, my name is Troy, and this is definitely not the video you're used to. Um, so, as you can probably tell by my voice, I am sick. Um, I wanted to put out a video at least saying that what I'm going to be doing essentially today, what I'm going to be doing today is resting. Um, I was trying to upload, I was trying to write a homebrew update video or the script for it yesterday because I do all my scripts on Friday so I can get ready for the actual filming of the video on Saturdays, which is today. But yesterday when I was writing the script, really when I was even at work, I just kept on feeling worse and worse and worse through the day. And I tried to write a little bit of the script and I just I just couldn't. Um, so instead I went to bed and here we are now. It's 12 in the afternoon. Well, 12 in the noon, I guess. It's not really afternoon, it's just early noon. Anyway, um, so yeah, there's not gonna be a homebrew update, but I did want to mention one very, very important thing that got released on the PS3. If you remember a couple weeks ago, I said that there was a PS3 exploit in the works and it would be released in the very beginning of next year. Well, it got released before Thanksgiving, America's Thanksgiving. It got released on the 21st, which is amazing. I already used my brother's PS3 and I modded it. Um, now he has a custom firmware running on it. I did it on his because I can't do it on mine. The reason is because you have to have a certain model to do it. Um, I will be linking a actual, I will be linking a link into the description here where I got the exploit. It's over at psxplace.com. Um, there's a section on how to do it. Please, please, guys, make sure you read the very first post and make sure you make sure that the MD5 checksum matches the one in the post of a certain file. You'll see what that file is if you read the actual post. So, guys, um, with the whole homebrew update thing, I will try to release one next Saturday. Um, Essentially, the stuff that I, you know, was obviously going to put in this week's video, I will be moving over to next week's video. I just wanted to get that one very, very important thing out. Oh, also, there is a 4.82 official firmware. Make sure you do update that to that first and make sure that is still the official firmware. I don't know if Sony had released a, say, 4.83 yet or not. So just make sure that is still the official firmware because I'm sure if they released another firmware, they already patched it. So... But it's fairly simple to do. Um, just follow the instructions, follow them to the T, and dot the I's, and all that stuff. I don't want you guys breaking your PS3, is what I'm trying to get at. So, anyway, guys, thank you, and I hope I get better, and I hope you all have a great day. Bye.